Thank you, everyone. It is wonderful to see you all back here again. Uh, I'm Margaret Lowe Smith. I'm president of Atlantic Live, the team uh, that is bringing you this Race and Justice Summit. I hope those of you who are here this morning and got to enjoy lunch at Ben's Next Door, that you um, got some half smokes and hot dogs and are, um, are ready for a very, very full afternoon. Um, we're going to begin uh, with a talk about the talk. Um, we'll hear a family story about an encounter with the D.C. police. Um, we'll talk to the police, to a warden, to a former inmate. We'll learn what happens to children whose families or whose parents go to prison. And we'll explore the possibility of hope. Uh, we'll be taking your questions across the afternoon, and you can also join the conversation on Twitter. Our hashtag is RaceJustice2015. Race Justice 2015 is also the password for the uh, Wi-Fi network, which is Atlantic Live. And we'll close the day with a beer and wine reception and a chance to connect with one another uh, in and around the theater. And I, and I hope that's incentive to stick with us throughout the afternoon. I do want to underscore that this conversation and this whole day would not be possible without the support of our underwriters, and I want to thank them. It, the Joyce Foundation, the Ford Foundation, the Annie e. Casey Foundation, the Jacob and Valeria Langloth Foundation, and our founding underwriter, the Open Society Foundations. And I'm so pleased to welcome to the stage Leslie Gross Davis, the program director of the Equality Fund at Open Society. She's here to say a few words. Good afternoon. It is absolutely wonderful to be back here in Washington, D.C. And I just want to take a moment to thank you for being here today as part of a conversation that's at the core of the work of the Open Society Foundations. It's work to end mass incarceration and change the racial narrative that surrounds and justifies it. Part of this work is exploring the racial narr narrative that justifies the othering of people of color. As we listen today, we're looking forward to moving beyond discussion with you to policy and structural change. Change that increases opportunity, not just in theory, but in fact. So it is our hope that today's conversation not only shine a light on the devastating impact that a passive approach to these issues has, but it spurs action as well as reflection. How, when, and whether we talk about race and racism determines what happens, and it serves as a backdrop for the issues that we're going to discuss for the rest of today. As one of the leaders of this work at the Open Society Foundations, I also wanted to take a moment just to acknowledge um, the attention, this, the remarkable insight I've heard so far from this audience. Um, and it's this audience who's going to be the engine for change in communities after today. So um, thank you for caring and continuing to demand change. <laughs> 